I thought of sharing a story with you about Glen Vernice Cunningham. Glen was born in 1909 in the United States of America. When he was eight years old, his legs were badly burned in a fire explosion at school caused by his brother accidentally putting gasoline instead of kerosene in the can. His brother Floyd, who was 13 years old, died on the spot of that fire explosion. Doctors attending to Glenn recommended amputating his legs, as he had lost all the flesh on his knees and shins and toes. Doctors predicted that he might never walk normally ever again. He was so distressed about it, his parents wouldn't allow it. Glenn and had great determination, positive attitude and faith in God. His favorite Bible verse was Isaiah 40 verses 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up the wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. It was in the early summer of 1919 when Glenn first tried to walk again, roughly two years after the accident. With his great determination, coupled with hours upon hours of a new type of therapy, enabled him to gradually regain the ability to walk and proceed to run. He went on to compete in the 1932 and 1936 Summer Olympics, finishing fourth and second, respectively. He received the James E. Sullivan Award as the top amateur athlete in the United States in 1933. Later in his retirement life, he opened the Glen Cunningham Youth Ranch in Kansas, where he and his wife helped 10,000 needy and abused children. Glenn died on March 1988. If a person whom doctors predicted as not capable of walking ever again can achieve so much, you and I can achieve a lot more in our life. Thank you for listening.